So in this video, we want to talk about progress indicators, and that is basically just a spinner to show to the users while they are waiting for some process to be done. For example, let's go to our project and open web.php, and I'm going to use the sleep function before returning our view. So let's say one second before we get our view. And this function basically delays the process. So let's go back to our website. So now if I reload the page, you notice the page is loading, and after a second, we get our page. Now let's increase this number so we see the effect much better. Again, if I reload the page, you notice the spinner up here in the title and then we get the page. Now watch what happens when I click on the home link. We have this blue indicator that is just appeared while the page was loading. And that is the progress indicator from Inertia.js. By default, this option is enabled when there is a process being done in the background. Now we can easily customize this by using the progress option in our create inertia app function. So let's open our app.jsx. Right after setup, we want to use the progress option. And for instance, let's change the color to white or whatever color you prefer. So you can pass CSS color properties here and that would be applied. So back to our project, if I press home again, you notice this white indicator up there. We can also set the delay if we want this indicator to appear, for example, after 250 milliseconds. Or we could include our own CSS by setting the include CSS to false. That would need more setup, so you need to go down here and install a package to customize that. We could also show a spinner to make that indicator easier to see. So right after the color, we can say show a spinner and set it to true. And now if we press on the home page, not only we have the bar up there, but we have the spinner on the top right corner, as you can see up here. And if you don't want the progress bar at all, you can just set the progress to false and that would completely disable it. And that's about progress indicator using Inertia.js.